Hi. How are you? Oh, we could get a hat. We could ditch these. Oh, okay. Is that going to cast a shadow on my face? There we go. That's fine. We're going to backwards hat it again. I know that I do that a lot, but I guess it is my specialty. You know what? I'm going to put I'm going to put it forwards. Because if it casts a shadow on my face, that will only add to the melodrama of this video. I don't have a script for this video. I just woke up and I decided that I wanted to talk about self-development versus self-acceptance, which is a theme that has been more prevalent in my life over the last few weeks than I think ever before in my life. And maybe that's just because I'm open finally to the acknowledgement and the acceptance of the fact that you can't just continuously try to develop yourself without ever pausing to accept yourself wherever it is that you are, um, which is something that I have done continuously for as long as I could possibly remember because it's my way of coping and grieving and processing who I am. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I think the fact that I don't have a script for this video is tremendously fitting. It is 5.32 on a Saturday evening. This is gonna go up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. In an hour, I need to start getting ready because I'm going out to dinner. My life is all over the place. Uh, let's see, today I've had two coffees. I've had one bottle of kombucha. Uh, I didn't eat my first meal until five. I had two bananas to eat today and one and a half scoops of pre-workout. So today is definitely, oh, and I'm not hungover, but I went drinking last night. So today is definitely a day where we need to utilize self-acceptance. And quite honestly, the last few weeks of my life, I've needed to learn self-acceptance. And the reason that I wanna make this video today is because I have been confronting some of the most challenging sets of emotions in my life because I recently went through a pretty difficult hardship a pretty difficult challenge that I don't want to talk about here, but I hope that future me will know what I am referencing. And it has in many ways flipped my life upside down, which unfortunately is something that I'm very used to. So I know how to handle this feeling, um, but not necessarily handle it well. I mean, how do we handle things well ever, right? Like we just do what we know to do. And what I know to do is to constantly push forward, just keep my head down, my nose to the wheel, whatever they call it, your nose on the grinder, your foot on the gas pedal, I don't know, let's just use something intense like that, is the way that I cope with things because I just bring my pain with me forward and I'm kind of done with that. But the problem with being somebody who always focuses on self-development is that I'm realizing now that I've never really actually taken more than maybe 10 seconds at a time to process where I am and hold myself where I am and honestly hold good space for where I am and how I'm feeling. Because my answer, my solution to feeling bad or not doing well or struggling has just continuously been get better at this, go to therapy, work on your emotions, read, swap the social media for a healthier alternative, don't eat after 9 p.m. because you're just gonna eat for bad reasons. You're gonna binge, you're gonna do this, that. I've created so many rules around my life and all of these rules, yes, the thing about not casting a wide net with your experiences and the thing about having those guardrails up, it's kind of like bowling, right? Like the thinner they are, the more your energy is gonna be able to transfer forward. And so I've gotten really, really far in life and I'm very grateful for that. And I'm grateful for the ways that constantly focusing on developing myself and my soul, my mind, my body, all of these different attributes of my life has made me who I am today. And I wouldn't trade her for anything. I'm so happy with who I am. But the problem is when you start hitting bumps or roadblocks in the road or obstacles or things that are just really hard to feel and you can't just jump over them and you actually have to sit with them. What I'm realizing is I've never actually learned how to do that. And so when I have moments like I am now where I'm going through a challenge or I'm going through a hard time in my life and all I need to do is be able to just rest and be able to just have fun and live a no pressure life and acknowledge the fact that 
Yeah, I'm not a typical 24 year old by any standard or measure or definition, but I am still 24 and I'm okay. I'm okay. That's okay, right? Like I can be somebody who doesn't always know exactly what my career aspirations are or how they're going to unfold for me. I can be somebody who goes out on the weekends and enjoys themselves responsibly, but I can have fun. I can change the parameters around and the scope of how I experience my life. I can do that, right? And I think we can do that at any age. It doesn't matter even that I'm 24, but I think just the fact that I am so young still proves or nurtures that case. That you can't constantly put your head down and like forge forward and just develop, develop, develop without ever accepting yourself. Because here's where that leads you. I'll tell you right now. I'm going through some hard stuff that's been really hard for me to process. I'm going through um, grief, um, a little bit of depression, I would say, um, a lot of trying to figure out who I am with things that I thought were permanent in my life being uprooted. There's a lot going on in my life right now. And the reality is, is that all I need to do right now and all I wanna do is rest and have fun and take away some of the heaviness of my life over the past few months because things had been quite heavy for quite some time. But the problem with always being somebody who focuses on the development and not on the acceptance is that I have been judging myself so, so unnecessarily hard for having fun. So unnecessarily hard for going out, for making new friends, for getting drunk for the first time in my life. I'm 24. I think it's a very responsible thing to be able to go out and have a few drinks and let loose if you're doing it in a safe way and you're with people who care for you. And I've never done that before because I wasn't allowed to have fun. And I didn't feel, it didn't feel safe to have fun. And the problem with being that person who's constantly focused on being the best and putting out the best image is that the only thing that I need to do right now is have fun and let loose and relax and take the pressure off of myself and the amount of shame and guilt that I felt by doing exactly what I am supposed to be doing to help myself heal from this is unhealthy. And I thought for a couple of weeks, this is something that I've always struggled with, right? Like whenever I go through, it doesn't need to be trauma. It doesn't even need to be a challenge. Like when I came out and that was the most, one of the most beautiful times in my life was just accepting my identity and like truly holding space for who I was and my sexuality. Beautiful time, just a lot of change. I get really self-conscious whenever a lot of things are changing in my life because I know that I'm gonna start doing things that aren't my normal. And people are gonna see that I'm doing things that aren't my normal. And that makes me feel really vulnerable and at risk because I don't know the version of myself that I'm presenting. I'm trying on all these different hats, right? Like I wear it this way and then I wear it this way and I wear it this way. And sometimes that's gonna look really goofy. Um, you're at risk of doing things that don't necessarily make sense and maybe aren't safe or aren't positive reflections of who I am. But at the end of the day, that's all what life is, right? Like we can't always be positive 24 seven. We can't always be making the right choices 24 seven. The way that you learn to make the right choices in life is by making the wrong ones and by utilizing those moments as lessons and taking the lessons from each of those experiences. <sighs> but I've never learned how to do that. So for the last few weeks, while I've been making friends and doing fun stuff, like my retainer broke and Instead of going to the dentist, I had my friend pull out the rest of it. His mom's a doctor. His mom's a dentist, so she guided us through it. That could be seen as a stupid risk. Um, I've gone out basically every single weekend for the last few weeks. That could be seen as a risk because I never really drank before. Again, it's controlled. It's not reckless at all, and it's very safe. But like the guilt and the shame that I felt in my life for being a fun person and not reading 24 seven and not focusing on my future and just resting in the present is not healthy. So that was a long ramble. This definitely has become a confession type video. And I honestly, truthfully, I don't even think I'm gonna edit this. Um, 
I don't care if I've repeated myself because all of the repetitions are necessary and I make no apologies for that. I just need to learn how to accept myself, you know, and allow myself, give myself the permission to have fun while I'm here and not make my life just a constant barrage of, well, I didn't have a childhood, so it wasn't safe to have fun and it wasn't safe to relax and it wasn't safe to be myself because everyone always judged who I was and no one ever gave me the attention that I needed to figure out how to be who I wanted to be and that was never encouraged. And then I got thrown into adulthood really too quickly and I never learned who I really was and I never learned how to hold space for that girl inside and my solution or my answer to that problem was just to continuously evolve and keep my head down and not look back and not accept the hardships of the life that I was thrown into and that has brought me leaps and bounds beyond the average human being I understand that and I'm so grateful for that but that changes now I really want to learn how to accept myself because if you are constantly pushing the boundaries of things that you don't like about yourself by just saying, it's okay, I'll fix it. You're never actually processing why you feel that way. And I'm finally having the insights that the guilt and the shame that I felt over the last couple of weeks that hasn't been terribly consistent, but around certain sets of behaviors or things that I've done in my life that I'm like, that's not me. I've definitely been really shaming myself and judging myself hard. (sighs) What I realize now is that I, I needed that and I need to continue to do all the things that I'm doing now. And the sentence that, um, kind of feels unsettled in my stomach because I'm not used to saying that, but is necessary for me to say and is valid for me to say is that I deserve to have fun here. I deserve to have fun while I'm here. Life doesn't need to be heavy 24-7. I don't need to live with an anvil in my stomach. I don't need to be sucked to the ground. My head can be high in the clouds and I can enjoy my life at a faster pace because ultimately I'm still calculating all the risks that I'm taking and that I think makes life more meaningful. So this is an ode to myself. It's a confessional on the way that my life has felt the last few weeks and it's raw and it's honest and it is just standard me and I think above all else this stage in my life guys I'm trying really hard to figure out why things have been happening the way that they have I mean it's crazy I I know I haven't talked about my life really in detail over the last couple of months because there are just some things that you need to keep private until you understand them but I've had people who I haven't talked to in years reach out to me or I've reached out to them and I've had exes come back into my life that I'm now friends with and I've met people who are like reflections of who I used to be and I'm meeting people who are reflections of who I aspire to be and we all have similar stories like in little pieces that they relate to about mine and I don't I don't even want to speak because they're not my stories to share But it is so, so beyond a coincidence, like the synchronicities I've been experiencing. It makes me feel like we're all living the same life, just at different stages, Um, which I know that people say is a joke, right? Like, I've never had an original experience and like, oh, we're all just living the same life, aren't we? But honestly, I find that comforting. And if there's a way for me to wrap up this video without making my conclusion 40 minutes too long, it's that, yeah, maybe I'm not having an original experience. And maybe I should look at all the other people around me, especially people at or around my age who are having fun and realizing they turned out just fine and they're doing just fine. So you can't self-develop your way into feeling worthy and you can't self-develop your way into ever accepting yourself because there will always be another mountain to climb and you can always go higher. And if you never learn how to accept where you are and let that be okay, that's the point, right? The whole point is to enjoy life in moderation, but I want to enjoy all of the corners of my life to an insane degree. I want to be the hardest worker in the room, but I also, on some days, want to be the hardest partier, and that's okay. Like, this is a dichotomy, right? It's not. You don't need to choose. 
I can do both. Balance can be achieved in any measure, right? Like you can stay very close to the fulcrum and just kind of hover like this. That's the pinball life. That's the that's the bowling ball analogy life where we've got the gates right here and you can't really shift. Or you can bring those out a little bit. And some people live really in the extremes. They live here or they live here, but that's okay. You need balance at the end of the day. And that's what I'm striving for in my life. And I'm grateful for that. So with that being said, thank you for listening to my confessional. Uh, I love every single person who subscribed to me. I realized that I've gained quite a few ex uh, subscribers over the last couple of weeks. And I'm grateful to all of you. And I hope that this, um, I hope this helps somebody out there. But at the end of the day, I accept myself for making a video this week that is 100% about me. I'm okay with that. I love you and I will talk to you all next week.